do. We do, yes. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like to film? Woo! Oh, camera down. Camera down. Yeah. Talk about my hands yeah. too much. It was, uh, it was really fun. It was great. It was just the two of us. It was, uh, yeah. it was a lot of dialogue, but it sort of slowed down the pace of filming. So that was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. And they definitely, because it was just the two of us, they let us kind of live in it a little bit. We had the time to explore these things because it was a different episode because the puzzle is so complicated that like you're shooting scenes and you're like, what does this mean? And then you're like, oh right, this is because this is a trigger for this scene. And so in the midst of us figuring each other out as where we stand as a relationship or a couple, we're just as much figuring out what the crime was that left the lab empty. So 50-50. Yes, yes. And I love the director of this episode, John Bott. Yeah, did a great job. He's like a lovely guy, a true gentleman, and clearly a lifelong you know, pro. And so it's been great working. It's the second time I've worked with him. And it was fun because we drop a little bit of like some Easter eggs that if you are paying attention, you'll notice. And if not, it's one of those episodes that you're going to want to go back and be like, now that you know the end game, you're like, Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And so that was really fun to kind of drop little hints and little you know, oddities and you know, stuff. So Cameron has a new role in the Stitch Lab. Yes. He's kind of moved up. He's the new Maggie. Yeah. Um, how is that going to affect kind of his relationships within the lab itself? Oh, I think he's kind of like been given some, you know, some tough love from his coworkers and friends about, you know, like, come on boss, you gotta, you know, play the boss card. He's like, I'm not this guy, I don't want this job. But in it, I think he gets a certain kind of confidence that, yeah, he definitely matures and grows, and eventually it comes to a head with Maggie. He's like, look, you can, you know, look me in the eye, you know, the, the boss to boss, the manager to manager, whatever. What is the purpose of this program? And she eventually kind of lets him in on that because he eventually comes to her and says, I'm not doing this if you don't tell me. And so then there's a mutual respect at that moment between Cameron first and Maggie because we are, without all of us, there's... He also figures out what his priorities are. <laughs> As he should. Yeah. So do we see any kind of closure at the end of the season between Kirsten and Cameron? I would say you see a closure within the mythology that we've been watching for the first three seasons. That definitely comes to a, a close. And but there's a very it, satisfying end moment in episode 9. But the twist of the finale, the cliffhanger, is literally draw dropping where you're like, what does this mean now? What is the show going to be now? And it, to me, it's the most exciting season that we have yet to get picked up for. But if we do, <laughs> I'm literally, I'm, I'm very excited to come back because I, it, yeah, just, I think it, it, be it opens up a whole new world for the Stitches program. So, yeah. so Kirsten's still hurting over what she perceives to be a betrayal by Cameron. What ultimately is it going to take for her to forget? Um, I think it, she's going to take Cameron figuring out his priorities. And I think it really takes him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop flirting with Zelda. I think it's going to take him. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really going to take him uh, seeing that he's really on her team and not her guy. So you just teased the musical episode in the, you know, future that doesn't exist yet. We're just throwing ideas to free people's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to see, I know you're a musical kind of guy, so what kind of songs would you see for Cameron or for Kirsten? I feel like there would definitely be some sort of like, you know, like love ballad that he wins her back with, you know, some like definitely some like confessional thing. Maybe some West Side Story? Maybe a little West Side Story instead of Maria, it's Kristen. Yeah. Most beautiful sound he's in. Yeah. So, and then I would be really excited to see Linus have like a giant Bollywood number. That would be like. Oh my god. Because I don't know Tesh can actually know, do it. He's like, he can dance. A dancer, and he really does. So, like, he can Throwing all the ideas to freeform and hopefully they'll let us do it. Frankenstein Exactly, exactly. I think it should be a flash mob, a flash mob, you know? A flash mob, exactly. Like, that's how Kristen yeah. and Cameron get engaged. Cameron put a giant flash mob. I don't know, it's a soft pitch. We're working on it. So that's where you want to see the characters go? And it'd be definitely very cheesy for Cameron to do it, yeah. You, are you like seeing a engagement in the. I think so. Do you feel like that's interesting? Yeah. I feel like, I definitely feel like there'd be some sort of thing. People, look, I could talk about this show for days. It, it will never end up on screen, but I've got so many different, like, you know, fan fictions in my, yeah, it's all right. I've got a lot of time That'd in between seasons, block. so, yeah, I keep it to myself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.